Good morning, Pat Russell, Operations Section Chief with California Incident Management Team 2, providing you with your morning update, which this will be the last update uh, that I'll be doing. So let's talk about the fire suppression activities in both Branch 10 and Branch 25. Over here on the east side of the fire in Division Juliet, Kilo and Mike, all this is lined. They're still continuing to strengthen that line and mop up, but we're very close to putting a lot of this into patrol status. The north fork of the middle fork uh, of the American River up here in this open line and this drainage, we do have crews that are working to um, get a little bit more line in there where they can safely do so, and we're using the drones to fly this area of the fire twice a day to monitor the fire activity in there, and it is doing exactly what we've expected it to do. Nothing is uh, moving on us, so that's uh, uh, very, very good news. Uh, down here in Division Union on the Rubicon, same activity. They are working this open piece of line right here. Uh, hotshot crews are making good progress on that. They are going to tighten this up uh, a little bit more. There will be some uh, areas down here in the uh, bottom of the drainage that uh, they won't be able to put uh, direct line on. However, they are using the drones as well in that area, and the fire is not moving uh, uh, in that area as well. Uh, for the suppression repair activities on the fire, uh, they're going very well. We have uh, down here in El Dorado County on the El Dorado, they're working on the Wentworth Springs Road in this area of the fire here around Volcanoville, uh, doing uh, great work and working back towards the east side of Stumpy Meadows uh, continuing that uh, operation as well. Uh, on the uh, north side of the fire up here um, on Forest Hill Road, they're continuing. We have several suppression repair groups working and we're nearly done by end of the day. We should have the Forest Hill community completely done as they move around uh, this part of the fire and get down here onto Deadwood Road. They're working that as well up here at, on the uh, Sawtooth Ridge area on some dozer line up there. And that operation is going uh, very well um, as they're doing that. For our hazard tree abatement, uh, one, the one group that's working on Forest Hill Road is now working out towards uh, Sugar Pine. And then we have two groups uh, working on the Mosquito Ridge Road, as well as up in the Gorman Ranch Road area into the Chicken Hawk Road. Uh, fathers are up there taking out those hazard trees and equipment will be moving into that area. Um, we also have uh, access here where we're controlling to get our partners in there, PG&E and, and so forth, to get in and do the work that they have to do on their infrastructure to get that back up and, and running. And that operation is taking some time, but it is moving forward. Uh, and then we have a contingency group out here uh, off the Eleven Pine Road and Blacksmith Flats area where they're doing some uh, uh, repair uh, in that area. Uh, waiting, still waiting for a little bit more equipment to get in to finish that, but they are doing the, the chipping and some of the stuff that they can do with the equipment that they have. That operation will be going on for uh, a few more days as well. We still have the uh, air support uh, if we need it with uh, two Type 1 helicopters, the two Type 2 that can uh, fly any retardant or, or rather water if we need to, but we're not anticipating uh, that to happen. And then a large operation is we're just getting a lot of equipment off the fire. Thank you.